In this video, we will see how to edit and verify ladder logic elements online. Editing logic online allows you to make quick programming changes without stopping the manufacturing process. Important: Use extreme caution when entering or editing code or data forcing values or making other changes. Online mistakes can cause unintended machine motion or loss of process control entering personnel and damaging equipment. We are going to start with the online edit when the controller is in program mode. There are different ways to start the online editing. The first option is to go to the logic menu, select online edit, then click start pending rung edits. Since the stop tag was selected, the rung that will be edited is the top one. We now have a copy of this rung and we can see the edit markers are now lower I. This indicates that the rung will be inserted. The rung 1 is the active one in the controller. The markers are lowercase r. This indicates that the rung will be replaced. We are now in the edit mode. We can add elements to the logic as well as creating new tags. For instance, let's add an exam on element to the rung. Assign a new tag to this element called start. Logic's designer allows us to create tags online without any problems. It is also possible to add branches to the rung as well as new instructions. Before our edit rung becomes active in the controller, we must complete the verification process. Since accepting a change online can lead to dangerous situations, there are different steps to verify when online. The number of steps depends on the current mode of the controller. In program mode, the process is simple. From the online edit toolbar, we can accept pending rung edits or accept pending program edits if more edits have been made in different routines. Let's select now accept pending rung edit. We can see the rung has been accepted and the markers are not visible any longer. The new edit rung is now active in the controller, but we are still in program mode. Let's now see how to make online edits when the controller is in run. This time we enter the edit mode by double clicking on the rung. Modify again the rung 0 by deleting some elements. When we are done with the changes, we can go through the verification process or just select finalize all edits in the program. When you choose to finalize all edits, first, any pending edits are accepted. If a verification error occurs in any pending edits zone, none of the pending edits will be committed to the controller and the finalize process will stop. Next, any accepted edits are assembled. As an example, let's see the standard verification process. As a first step, we click Accept Pending Routine Edits. We can see now the rung markers are uppercase. This indicates that the rung that will be inserted and the one that will be replaced are in the controller memory. The next important step is to test the new logic. Clicking Test Accepted Program Edits Logic's Designers allows us to safely test the logic. Fortunately, Logic's Designer offers the chance to reverse the previous step in case our test does not meet our expectations. After verifying if the new logic behaves as it should, we can pass the final step, Assemble Accepted Program Edits. Once selected, the edits are assembled and the program or equipment phase is removed from the test edits mode. The third option that Logic's Designer offers to enter to the edit mode is to right click on the rung and then select Start Pending Rung Edits. Here we can now make other online edits, but this time instead of going through the entire verification process, we are going to see a quicker procedure. 
In fact, by selecting Finalize All Edits, we are going to finalize all edits in all edit zones of all ladder routines in the selected program and all edits in all pending edits and test edits views of all other routines in the program. Clicking Yes, Logix Designer will accept any pending edits. Download the edits to the controller. Assemble all edits and begin executing assemble edits if the controller is in room mode. The finalize all edits and programs enables us to reduce the steps required to go from changes to running code.